Joshua chapter 1 is the beginning of the Israelites getting back to the land God had given their ancestors after their captivity in Egypt. In this chapter, we learn that the Lord calls Joshua to lead the Israelites into the promised land. Until this point, Joshua had served as Moses' assistant. Now that Moses had died, it was Joshua's time to lead. The Lord had spent years preparing him as he served under Moses. In fact, Exodus 24 verses 13 and 14 tell us that Joshua was even, Moses, was even with Moses when he traveled to Mount Sinai to be in the presence of the Lord. In verses 2 through 5, the Lord commissions Joshua and confirms to him that he will lead the Israelites into the promised land that he had shown Moses at the end of Deuteronomy. He also tells Joshua in verse 5 that no man shall be able to stand before them. Joshua is told three times, twice by the Lord and once by his people, that the Lord is with him. And he's commanded four times, three times by the Lord and once by his people to be strong and courageous. When the Lord gives us a task, he will always be there to help us complete it. Our requirement is simply to trust God, that he can make the impossible possible. Just a few decades prior to this, the Lord brought his people out of the land of Egypt against all odds. He parted the Red Sea, supplied them with manna and quail, caused water to flow from a rock, and covered them with a pillar of cloud by day and fire by night. Verse 8 tells us in order for Joshua to be prosperous and have good success, that the book of the law shall not depart from his mouth, but he should meditate in it day and night, that he may observe to do according to all that is written in it. Just like Joshua, as long as we follow the word of God, we will be prosperous. In verses 10 through 16, Joshua gives the officers of the people three days to prepare before they enter the land of Canaan. The officers accept Joshua as their leader and tell him they will heed his command and they will go where they are commanded. The Israelites finally entering the promised land is an example of the rest and victory God gives us when we trust him and follow his commands. God never intended for them to stay in the wilderness. In our Christian lives, we're brought out of the wilderness of sin and into the promised land of abundant life in Jesus. Don't be like those who died in the wilderness, never getting to walk in the fullness of all God has intended for us through Christ. An interesting fact, the Greek name Jesus simply translates to the Hebrew name Joshua. All the good Israel gained in the promised land was through the hand of Joshua. All the good we receive from God, we receive through the work of Jesus Christ our Joshua. So for the Christian, be strong and courageous. For the Lord, your God is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you.